guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the finale of season two of Both Day. We are finally here. It feels a little bittersweet. I'll say that. I mean, I'm hoping. I, I don't even know what the fuck I just said. Hoping, that's the word. Um, this finale episode is good. I mean, I have a lot of words to say about the season in general and especially the other things, but we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the episode. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It is still cold in here. Oh my God. Burn, baby, burn. Is Maple. Well, mm, okay, man. Oh. The OP is fuck. I wonder what it looks like. It's just a big version of it with wings. Okay. What was about having hope a couple of minutes ago? Are those CG? They looked CG for a moment. No, Hellfire too.
Oh, isn't that much place to go. That's the cutest like, little eye patch thing right there. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you know, a little bit bigger probably than Godzilla, but like, hey, y'all got it. Teeny <laughs> tiny like a small damn lizard compared to this.
like the fact that Soka can also transform to everybody else. Because, I mean, we all initially probably thought that Soka just ta transform into Kanade, and, I mean, Kayere, but still ain't mad at that. Or Sally. There you go. I mean, but I would have just destroyed both wings because then, you know, can't regrow both of them. Or, I don't know, maybe he can't regenerate shit. You think? I like the fact that they saved playing the opening song for now because, I mean, one final episode would make the most sense. I can't take him seriously. I mean...
Well, I thought that would be good, but no. Still up and going, not syrup, damn. What the turtle do to you? Like, <laughs> oh. You guys all did good today. Right. Uh. Oh, but it is, administrators. It's the end. Is it bad that I want to spin off all about them? <laughs> Y'all just now knowing that? Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That overtime pay. Yes. We like that.
Aww. Just relax. I think that's what she wants to do. Just to go out and... <laughs> like, yes, Sally, we're gonna conquer you for you today. Okay, so final thoughts on this season. I am... I'm in between. I did enjoy this season a lot. I really, truly did. I think if I had to choose between this season and the first season, I think my heart would really go more towards season one, even though I liked everything about season two. Oh, okay, hold on. I love how we're showing characters for a quote unquote potential season three because I don't know as if um today's season three was probably announced maybe in a couple of weeks it might be announced but I mean yeah th like I said this season me saying that I like season one more than season one that's not a bad thing season two had its really good parts like do not get me wrong I think my biggest issue was the uh, and I'll compare this just how I kind of feel with um the near automata um annotation is the delaying i think that really kind of put like a not a big bad taste in my mouth but just it started to get a bad taste in my mouth where i was like damn we're gonna have to wait like another couple of weeks just to see this episode then we get a couple more episodes and then um before i went on vacation gotten getting the news that the last two episodes were also going to be delayed once again and i'm not mad about that Essentially, it happened and such, but as I said, I was like, this was a show that I felt like should have ended so many weeks ago, but because of the fact is it started about, what, week two, three of winter, so we knew that it was going to be, I, I knew in my heart, it was going to be one of the last shows of my season and such. Um, but, I mean, it was still good. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. There was nothing really bad about it. I just think, you know, despite everything else that has been happening in the last couple of weeks, even with COVID and stuff, still being up there and everything, it, it's just, it's very crazy and very chaotic and such. But, I mean, yeah, I thought this was a very interesting season. I love the fact that, you know, everyone got to have pets. I, I thought that was very, like, hella good in my opinion because at first I was like okay hold up like yeah going into season one and then the start of season two like yes Sally and um Mabel are the only ones who have one so I was like you know what is there ever going to be at the point in time where everybody else in this team also gets one and I love the fact that we also had an event that really featured them using their pads and such and so i hope that if we potentially get a season three we do get to see more of that now the two girls the one with the blonde hair and the one with the bluish purpley hair they are mysterious at first i thought they were going to be two potentially new to I, I can't speak potentially two new people that was possibly going to join maple tree but now it looks like eventually they're going to be frenemies with Sally, Maple, and the rest of the gang. Same thing with the other two, with the man and the woman, I don't know. But, like, really, I think season three could possibly go anywhere. Um, another thing that I will say about this season, it just felt like nobody really... And I kind of feel like that with Kuma Bear, in a way. Nobody, like, the hype for season one, good. But... It felt like with season two, not many people really cared as much for it. And that's why I'm like instantly saying I get the same feels with Kuma Bear because it is like that with Kuma Bear, where everybody was super hyped about season one and how good season one was. And then we get to the first couple of weeks of season two and everybody's like, eh. 
because of I'm guessing you know the isekai or not because I mean, this ain't even an isekai though but I think just having so many other animes that you're really more excited for and you're just like okay this is one of those that I'm still watching but it's not the most anticipated and I get that we all have those feelings I mean was this the most anticipated season uh show of the season that I was watching last season no, it wasn't, but I was still anticipating it. It just wasn't number one for me. But I was just like, okay, I like the characters in season one. I would like to see more of them in season two. And that's the same thing with how I feel towards season three. I really am excited to see if the show does get a season three, that where it could go, especially with these two quote unquote frenemy groups now and what they're possibly going to do for Maple Tree and the challenges that they're going to have to go against between these two other groups. Because who really knows? The skies are really endless and, you know, it can go any any freaking way but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season two of both of if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day to the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next wednesday for everything else that i you know am continuing watching and then you know any other show that is coming out even though my last show of the season I started it yesterday, plus Patreon stuff, Pretty Cure, and everything else in the mix. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!